All right, so welcome back everyone. Uh, I got one of the uh, bridge abutments sanded. That's all done. Um, the only thing left on this is to actually um, weather it. I'll start with a uh, alcohol in the ink wash and then I'll go over it with some powders and stuff like that. But just to show you how nice and clean the lines are. So that's exactly where the bridge is gonna go. Yeah, it's come out pretty good. So just to show you this is the unsanded one that I'm going to do now. And then you can see how nice it looks when you sand it. So this stuff is really cool to work with. Um, I just took another piece of wood and I put 100 grit. I have it on a roll stick as a, uh, as a sticky uh, surface on the back of the sandpaper. I just stuck it to the piece of wood. So I'm using 100 grit sandpaper and just made this piece of wood into a sanding block. So. So far, so good. So when we come back, I will um, I'll show you the weathering process on these. All right, see you in a minute. All right, so now we're at the workbench. So both uh, both pieces are sanded down. I just got them resting on top of the uh, one, two, three blocks. All right, so what I'll do is I'll put one in front of the blocks. Like that. And there we go. All right, so I'm using a dark India, alcohol and India ink wash, and what that is is a uh, a pint of rubbing alcohol. I use 91% because it dries faster, and that's going to be a pint of rubbing alcohol to three tea, uh, teaspoons of India ink. So shake it up. Now I use a regular um, a brush dedicated. Uh, to alcohol in the ink and I put a little marker on it so not to use it for anything else so I got a couple of these but that's all this brush does is uh, is for uh, staining right, so what you do is that's it you just run your brush down and all the detail will come out now this will dry a lot lighter so you may have to go over it a couple times. And then if it puddles in the corners, don't worry about it. And you can see how fast it's drying already. And what happens is when you have the little craters, it's going to bring out all the little details in there. All right. So I'm going to continue doing this, and then we'll come back, and I'll do the little powders. So I may have to do this two or three times, but uh, any interest of saving time in a video, uh, I'm basically letting you know that. So you probably have to do this two or three times, and then we'll go over some powders and some more alcohol. All right. So we'll be back. All right, so what I did is I covered the bare wood with just a little bit of craft paint, whatever gray I had, dark gray. I matched it pretty good. Now what I did over here is I added our, my gouache paint, and I'm going to do some rust streaks with the gouache paint. So when we come back, I'll show you what it's going to look like. All right, so I used the, uh, the gouaches, the powders, um, I got them weathered up. Now I'm going to put the uh, the low tide mark on it now with the little algae. All right, so I put the, uh, the low tide mark on. And now the next thing I'm going to do is put the algae mark in. I'm going to blend that in so it's not such a, a hard line there. And then I'm going to weather it up even more. So, All right, guys, so I'm pretty much done with these pieces. Um, I blended in the uh, the load tide a little bit more with some uh, weathering powders and, and alcohol. And uh, as you can see, it came out pretty good. It looks like uh, old cement, which was the uh, intent. And 
Those are going to be for the simulated uh, bridge plates underneath the bridge that are rusting down. Uh, same with this one here. So, pretty pleased with how it came out. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you at the next update.